What's going on guys? Kason here, just giving you a little update on this thing. It hit the dyno, made 503 wheel on E85 at 25 pounds, super stoked on that. Um, basically right now I'm going full ADHD project style, we got a few things on the go right now. Um, but anyways, we're doing a Chase Bays line relocation kit slash ABS delete. Um, which gives you a bias valve Gives you some front brake lines to run up to your soft lines rather than the factory hard lines little back brake tee off here um, So that's going down. We also have some PMC knuckle adapters which give you the knuckle adapter of course and they also give you these adjustable outer tie rods so that's going to give you the heim joint as well um, and this this kit basically allows you to retain the factory control arms and bushings so there's no need to get any of the the upgraded lollipops with adjustable adjustable position or anything like that just pop it in good to go obviously have to align it so that's kind of what's going on at the same time as the chase bays install and coming up next we got the the Drift Tech E46 inline hydro. So this thing is essentially fully bolt in, plug and play if you will. You basically pop out your trim here, get rid of your shifter boot of course, cut up your carpet a little bit, mount this thing to the trans tunnel, fully bolt in, no need to climb up under the car and bolt it in. Um, the handle itself travels through your window switch and they give you Oh, excuse me, I got a little cold right now, but they give you this piece here that pops into your center console that would be right there um, and Essentially You've now got a relocated window switch Very OEM plus looking, but I'll definitely give you guys an update once it's installed. It's obviously it's still in the box right here so anyway Yeah, I'm trying to hit Lanier, hopefully this Friday. It has had one shakedown drift night, stock angle, no hydro, still made it work, but I'm definitely looking forward to sliding this thing properly. All right, guys, angle kit is installed. Gained about a degree or so of camber, which I wasn't really happy with how much camber I had before, even with these uh, BCs fully maxed out. So that angle kit definitely helped us out here and got us to what I would say is a reasonable amount of camber for street track car, nothing too crazy, but right in that functional goodness range. As far as full lock, this is what we're working with here. Definitely not bad. Plenty of angle for non-competitive drifting in my eyes. Um, and then as far as inside clearance, we do, we are a little bit close up to the fender well up in here. And then also, we're close to the sway bar. I don't think we're going to end up hitting the sway bar, but mainly these rims, um, they're 18 by 9 and a half, but not very much offset as you can see. And the reason I went with that option is just because I didn't really want to mess with flares or over fenders just at the moment. So, kind of have to pick and choose your battles. A little bit of rubbing going on right there. Not not too terrible like this is full lock here i'm obviously not going to be spending most of my time drifting here i might rub occasionally on like a you know a hard flick or something or spinning out i wouldn't say it's going to be the biggest issue but you know we'll put that to the test really stoked to try it out i still got to do an alignment right now it's just uh what would you say eyeball laser line so definitely need to get that sorted <laughs> All right, see you guys tomorrow. What's going on guys? It's been a week. Um, last Friday didn't end up happening just due to rain coming in and uh, kind of raining out the event. Didn't really feel like rain driving, so just held up on that. Um, ended up getting to some other stuff last weekend and was pretty busy this week, so I kind of just got back out here tonight. It's, uh, it's now the next Friday night and we're just getting ready for Octane Fest, which is gonna to be tomorrow at Lanier. There's gonna be a good bit of drivers there, some FD names. Um, there's more than just drifting, there's 
car show, RC racing, lots of food and whatnot. So it's gonna be a pretty busy track day, I'm sure. Weather's supposed to be like sunny, 72 degrees. Couldn't be any better than that. But a lot has been done on this thing tonight. Just trying to get ready to go. Still uh, some loose ends to wrap up, but Chase Bay's kit is good to go. Still just need to dial in uh, bias. But as far as plumbing and mounting, everything is good to go. We're also doing the drift tech install. That is done minus, um, I still don't have my interior trimmed out and ready to go to accept the, uh, the window switch uh, mount. So I'm just gonna leave that out for now. Don't really need it for tomorrow's event. Um, it's gonna be nice and sunny anyway. This window's gonna be down all day, who cares? But um, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked with this thing right here. This is gonna be a good time tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be my first time actually driving my own car with a hydro in it. I've, I've driven uh, Brad's gray E46 coupe, uh, previously Liam's car back in the day, his first uh, drift steed, and I had a blast. Um, you know, I learned without the handbrake, which is what most people would agree is the best way. Um, you know, really teaches you just how to how to use the weight of the car, clutch, and um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just stoked to be able to use that thing as a crutch, just to uh, to extend a line, to uh, you know, just to reinitiate, just just use it as a little correction tool here and there. Um, so yeah, super super stoked on that. Um, I got another Sparco base. This thing, uh, my my passenger seat mounted in. Don't mind the absurd amount of tearing action going on on my seats, but these uh, I just ended up found. I, I found these uh, for super cheap in the area, so I couldn't pass up on them. But we'll have to get some something a little more presentable eventually. But. Uh, NRG harness bar installed as well with some race quip harnesses So we'll be strapped in tight to this thing not flopping around everywhere like before Got some freshies mounted up Valino Grievas shout out to John from Valino Tires Canada for hooking me up with these. It's been a long night. It's late It's a mess in here as you can tell and I'm just ready to get driving again. Um so to get some GoPro clips tomorrow and just kind of actually film once at an event. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'll be up early to get this thing ready to go. Got uh, some things to wrap up, obviously. Um, Got to grab some E85 because this thing eats it quickly as one does. But I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next morning here. We got... Uh, Garage looking like a little bit of a battle zone. That's my bad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're got the car out here, back on the ground. Did a quick rough alignment on it. Definitely looks a little angrier, a little more bulldog stance with the angle kit installed. Got Mr. Greg putting some stickers on for me. <laughs> what up? You know we have to represent. Just doing the gold on the back, chrome on the sides, and uh, yeah, I've got, got a little bit loaded up, need to load the car up, and a few more tools and whatnot, fluids, and get ready to go here. Uh, events starting at like, driving's uh, starting at 3, it's almost noon now, we got about an hour and a half drive, so, but what do you think? Oh, baby, we're representing now. Yes, sir. Load it up. Our tires, tools. Just need to make a stop and grab some E85. See you at the track soon. Grabbing the good stuff. Cars filled up. Fuel jugs filled up. You got this kind of fuel. Good to go.
out here, guys. Time to unload. Let's get this party going. All right, I don't know how well you guys can hear me. Um, just filming on the GoPro here, but just did first session out, just letting the car cool down, and uh, you know, just checking over a few things. So this is my first time driving with this uh, PMC knuckle angle kit. Um, also did the uh, the brake bias over here as well, which I think I need to adjust a little bit more to the front. But this track layout's a little bit tricky. Uh, I didn't end up throwing the GoPro on for the first session just because I knew it might be a little bit um, not the best driving. So, and it, I was definitely on the struggle bus. I um, I ended up having to basically um I was, I was struggling to keep the turbos pulled up a little bit there's several sections on the track that go from um you know pretty pretty slow to pretty fast pretty fast to pretty slow and i'm having to um i'm, I'm having to do a little bit of clutch work and also just um the self steer isn't quite as much as i'm used to you have to feed the wheel a little bit more which is taking me a little bit of time to get used to um, i'm gonna throw this thing on my helmet next time i'm out and we can see uh can see how that goes but um having a blast nonetheless um feels good to be strapped up now but uh yeah i'll see you guys out on the track in just a minute
break, um, had some food, good old hamburger and some chips, so uh, recharged, ready to get back out in this thing. Um, probably gonna start taking some passengers. I'm still kind of learning the setup and learning how to drive it um, with my gearing and all that, and a little bit of turbo lag, which I'm still getting used to. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna record some clips here. Probably have my dad and his homie Sean in the car and uh, see how it goes. Um, oh yeah, also my last session out, it was brutal because I didn't realize that one of my tires was starting to delaminate pretty bad. Both of them actually, one of them was pretty severe. So, uh, but I didn't hear any slapping. There was no clear indications other than it just started ice skating. So, there's Sean, <laughs> ready to party.
one that showed me it's like all right i can do it i just gotta put it in motion now yeah all right guys we're back home sucked last night the battery died on this thing and i missed some of the best runs of the night we got some pretty good driving in there um a good few laps at least so i'm not super disappointed finally got this area back to back to semi-clean at least um tornado looking disaster is gone went through a good bit of tires but i am super super proud of this thing i mean this is two events now the shakedown event i didn't have to turn a wrench same thing with uh, last night literally just tires and go went through a good bit of fuel this thing did awesome uh you know zero complaints stayed cool no new noises or anything different axles are holding up pretty good mind you i'm just running 235s but still still super super impressed with this thing um yeah i'll definitely definitely uh get this stuff up to live and liam and shout out to them uh shout out to live for uh the edit that you'll see on this thing but thank you guys for watching i'll definitely try and get some better content in the future as far as working on this thing and uh just just try and do some more filming at the track but again thanks guys have a good one